Hello kids, today we're going to be doing a quick demonstration of how far we've gotten with the uh, Linux MCE Orbiter for Android. Um, we are utilizing QML, Necessitas, uh, and Qt to leverage all of that stuff and give us an APK which can run um, Linux MCE code, specifically the Orbiter, on a phone. It's been demonstrated to work obviously on Harmattan already and now we're moving on to other phones such as Android and hopefully soon iOS. As you can see here, it's a splash screen. Um, it's loading up. I have a particularly low-end device so it takes it a moment. Um, anyways, so splash screen's loaded. It automatically connects in my case because, well, you'll figure that out when you install it. Anyways, home screen. Hello, home screen. Uh, it's got some basic stuff such as, uh, well, you know, all of our basic scenario stuff, lights, media, climate, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, it's actually kind of dark in here, so let me see if I can turn on the damn lights. Where's the button? Oh, there we go. Bada bing. You may have seen that little menu pop up. Um, that's how most of the stuff on Droid really is going to have to be implemented. We do not have a... Uh, a uh, large a lot of real estate on the phones and so as such we'll need to uh, make pop-ups and things like that to handle some of the extra functionality that we get from Linux MCE um, so I'm gonna just do a quick run through um, showing some of the functionality starting off with just showing um, we've got our automatically reacting to things as you can see I just started a video and it brings up the video screen. Um, not much is showing the screen. We've got buttons for play, pause, etc. There's not a lot going on at this point. I haven't really implemented too much. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to lay out stuff on the screen. Anyways, so that's like a quick example of videos. Um, let's say we have, I don't know, DirecTV. Um, you can see it switch screens to DirecTV. Um, and I'm noticing something interesting. You saw how fast that screen changed. That's because it has a lot of these components already cached in its memory, um, such as this bottom bar down here, these elements, and other stuff. Um, you'll notice when I bring up the number pad, it takes in another second to change channels. And as you can see, that's working. Da -da 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 change channels and we'll go to what's well, actually already on there um i also implemented a little mini epg just because i like epg anyways it runs a little crappy once again don't know if it's my phone or if there's something in the code it's pretty basic so i don't know why it would uh be weird but as you can see it works Ooh, i want flat sexy abs Anyways, there's that. I think I had it for audio too somewhere. Um, so essentially, this is where we're at as far as development goes. We need more people to jump in and start making these screens because there is frankly a lot of code that I still need to write. And the UI is kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to dismiss it, but it's, it's something that others could be doing while I'm focusing on writing all of this code. We've gotten it here. I still need to be working with Foxy on all the um, on iOS and other stuff. But we are almost there, gents. As you can see, bada bing. Anyways, before Google bans my video for being, I don't know, illegal or something. Anyways, um, that bees about it, and I will talk to you later.